Hello. Hello. You get to see me with a VR set on playing VR games. Well, Jinx is off camera. Trying on, off camera, trying not to pee for being supportive anyway. Alright, and then I just need to hold the options button in order to secure this. There we go. That's much better. VR! Yeah. Phantom back scratchies. Nausea, disorientation, blurred vision, other discomfort while viewing virtual reality content. If any of these symptoms are experienced, stop using immediately and remove the set. Did you mention the other like, no, I insist on being sick. That's me. That's me, actually. That's why yeah. I'm back. I think at, you're going to start getting used to it, right? I think so. But, like, I'm never going to be used to it. <laughs> like, little arrows are like, look over. Ah. Dang, I thought you went to stand up. Oh. Ooh. 3D object. <laughs> Does it keep my progress from last time? It'd be really weird if it didn't. What's up, dude? Welcome Maybe back. Wait, hang on. We'll see. There we go. It's still kind of blurry on our screen, but... We got okay. intel on their plans to transport a WMD. Enemy transport is currently flying above the Waipolo Mountains. Oh, yeah. HQ's orders are to capture it. If we can get war crime evidence, we can suppress Free Rouge's activities. At the beginning of the mission, we will approach the transport while attempting radio contact. We will force their landing. Our objective is to capture the plane, but we can shoot it down if the situation goes south. Keep that in mind. You got I'll it. Shoot it down. Sounds a lot like war crimes. I'm in. Oh, okay. And the headache is already coming, so. <laughs> a railgun. That's good for capturing planes, right? Let's just damage it lightly with with a high speed round. I do want to see what bounds VR is, but I don't think I'll be able to do that. Ooh, 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 Flip through your arm. Flip through your arm. <laughs> Where's the head rig? Oh, I found it. I will say, like, the VR for this seems pretty, like, solid, though. It's pretty robust. I bet you if I had the two sticks, I could, like, throttle. Yeah. Okay. All aircraft, maintain formation. Rapier 5, block the transport and demand that they follow orders. Be careful, Rapier 5. Don't worry, Mobius 1 is with us. You're the only one who can protect yourself. Mission objective sighted. Continue approach. Hey, you can uh... just accept our orders? Impossible. Ooh. Right into a mountain. <laughs> yeah. Movies one is down. What? We haven't even fought anything yet. <laughs> Just enjoying the clouds, baby. So hang on, I'm gonna look back here. Can I like Oh! 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 Flaps! I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Oh, God. <laughs> Sky Eye, this is Rapier 5. No one's in the cockpit. What's on, man? It's a drone. In the cloud. I can't. Watch the bandit. Oh, shit. Mission change. Take down all enemy bandits. Six. Oh, 
is watching the rain. <laughs> My dad. No, I'm your commander, and you're gonna listen to me. The one game where ADHD really pays off is just like, oops, mom, missed him. Oh, let's get someone else. Oh, they just flew past. Let's get this guy. I completely forget where he goes. The two variants dead to me. This guy did defend me. I'm gonna turn him into the cell. No! Missile did not try at all. Targets remain. Target left. Finish him off. Bandit is down. We're not picking up any more on radar. <laughs> I'm not. My my head is though. Your head is flown outside the area. Warning. Spotted a glimmer above. Keep an eye out. 
for threats. Nothing's on radar. Stay sharp. Viper has good eyes. I can't see. You got it. Mobius one, above. Oh, that's a glimmer. Ghost? Your name is Ghost? Why do you get to be cool? You're an F-57? Fuck you. Daddy buy you a nice plane? Target destroyed. Even ghosts go down if you blast them. That's not true. We just need to talk about that. They got me! We've lost Halo 2. Not Halo 2! <laughs> It's actually one of the big ones. Oops. Mm. Every tail is painted black. Ammunition zero. If that's true, those enemies might be the ghost squad. Ammunition zero. It's the Fiorusia forces from Freeport. Missile. I heard they took out a lot of our allies in a cleanup operation. Missile. 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 Stealth fighter Missile. splashed. Two left. Missile. It's tough getting stealth fighters to show on radar. Construction confirmed. Don't lose sight of the last one. I can do this. This is you here. Use battles between the Glenn Ranger and the Ghost. Return this way. I still want to fight. Don't rely on your radar. You need to track them visually. I keep forgetting to look at my radar. Don't even. <laughs> The lady that says that. It's not just a voice actor's choice, there's a reason. Huh? In the 50s, yeah. they did a study with like mostly male pilots. Basically, there's all male pilots in the 50s. Yeah, yeah and they found out that uh, um, that men in like moments of crisis, the like a woman's voice will cut through and get their attention more than a man's voice. So they made the, the lady. I wonder if that was That's a great question. Like, I know they uh, also did that study regarding uh, children of uh, firelines. If you make it just a noise, kids don't listen to it. But that's why they're like, new fire alarms are going to be like, he's like, hey, wake up, your house is on fire. Yeah. I think just keep flying in circles, and I keep it, flying in circles. You know what's funny to me is it like, continues to prove that people see women as a girl. Yeah. That maternal figure is often get a lot of fun. Close no the credit with and all use, right? Yeah. Just nothing but utility. That's not the enemy on me. But we're just seeing that. All enemy stealth fighters confirmed destroyed. Great job, Mobius One. Ooh, I did it. I get to enjoy the mountains. Hmm. Sure. I don't know. They might come back, but we can handle them. Well done. All units, return to base. You got it. Enjoy these clouds for a second. Caution. Caution. Quiet. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the real Mobius One. Are 
find somebody pretending to be Mobius or Don't ice up. This is a Metal Gear game. I told you about that, right? Like the story of Metal Gear Solid Five. Yeah, we went through it. Yeah. I tried to like understand it from what you were telling me, but it was just like I didn't want to. Ultimately, I think is what the problem ended up being. Rhea Rouge's plan was a fake. The fact that we took minimal damage and struck a serious blow to their stealth power is a testament to the Mobius Squadron's skills. But if this was a diversion. Oh yeah, it's Bia's line. Oh boy. A new air show has been added! <gasps> I don't know what that means! Also I can use a new plane. Cool. Use the SU-30. That's what Mihai uses. It's also a model I can't find. <laughs> oh, epilogue. Epilogue? Oh. There's only three VR missions? Considering the amount of people with access to VR, it doesn't surprise me. That's fair. Oh, okay. That's the epilogue. So you're done? Apparently so. So, like, I love how there was like, and slip it in there, you're not Mobius 1, actually. But now you have epic notes. Yeah. So that's the air show. I can enjoy watching some great aircraft maneuvers. I like maneuvers. Oh. Oh, that's fun. What's up? Just train on a day off. Well, I guess you're different from the other guys. Since you're here, why don't you call the aerial maneuvers? Oh. Bird. Omega Squadron, you heard that? Omega 2, Roger. Omega 3, Roger that. Omega 4, Roger. Alright, the air show is starting. I can move. Oh. Commence touch and go. Where are they? This exercise has the plane landing and taking off without stopping. Commence loop. Commence loop. Where are you? The loop is a basic maneuver that various strategies are derived from. Sometimes I feel like uh, Air Force shows are more dangerous than actual missions. I think they are. Aileron roll? Omega two, oh, roger that. Omega no, you're on your team. Roger. Omega four, roger that. I think aileron roll is the actual term for a barrel roll. Mm -hmm. Commence aileron roll. This maneuver starts from level flight. The plane deploys pure aileron to 360 degrees to the left or right. Yeah. So when Peppy in Starbucks talks about a barrel roll, it's an aileron roll. With a barrel roll, a barrel roll is like an actual like corkscrew kind of shape. This maneuver has the plane bank at 45 degrees from level into an oblique climbing loop.
Das ist die Hafis. Ja. Immelman. Or at least I've read about Immelman. Ja. Also, if you buy the soundtrack, you can get a with the song playing on the radio right now. There's four songs for air shows. This is cool. Commence high yo yo. When a plane is faster than an enemy, use this maneuver to ascend and drastically decelerate. Taking notes. Let's start playing. They could at least make that plane. I think the boats would stop the water. This one is. You can see the railing. Alright, show me a true barrel roll. Commence barrel roll. This maneuver utilizes both upward roll and pitch to fly in a helical path. See, that's a barrel. Maybe you don't know what the fuck he's talking about. So I want to try my new plane. And then I can get more VR games. Like, um... Um, super hot. And I expect you to die. Let's begin the briefing. The baby pen. Pinnacle. Such a pretty plane. Alright. Not too familiar with that, but we'll figure it out. Oh.
so funny how you get extremely familiar with something. I was like, all right. Mobius One, do you copy? You're clear for takeoff immediately after Omega Eleven. Mobius One, this is Control. The wind direction is 130 degrees at a speed of 18 knots. We're good for takeoff. Mobius One, you were clear for takeoff. Mobius One, takeoff confirmed. Altitude restriction lifted. Good luck out there. Suck. Crap on their nose. This is AWACS, Sky Eye of the 118th Tactical Fighter Wing. You'll be under our command from here on out. Omega 11, follow Mobius One. This could turn into a firefight. I hope this guy's the real deal. You'll find out if he is soon enough. Everyone will. Picking up several unidentified aircraft. Omega 11, try contacting them via radio. Unidentified aircraft. This is the IUN PKF. Unidentified aircraft has a radar lock on us. Missile. Bandits fired. Missile. The unidentified aircraft are confirmed hostile. Weapons free. Engage. Don't let them near the base. Something new on radar. We have lost all of the nerds. Can we keep going? The enemy's in route. Caution. Pull up. Viper two, can you look after yourself for a bit? I'll watch your back. Something just came up on our radar. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Half remaining. Mobius one again. Omega 11, pay attention. Stop staring at Mobius one. Spot trail! Viper two, it looks like you're running out of targets. Will you be okay without me?
an enemy unit approaching the base. Take it out. Free Erujian forces are withdrawing. Victory is ours. <laughs> Free little islands. Oh, Bay. He's the real deal, all right. You know from fighting just once? Watch all you like. There will be more battles. Until then, we rest. Return to base. It's a good place. This is the control tower of Fort Grace. AWACS Sky Eye, we'll take it from here. Over. 3,200 meters to runway. You're too fast. Lower your airspeed. You're right on course. Just keep it steady. 1,600 meters to runway. And... Boop. Nail it. Landing confirmed. That was a textbook landing. Nice work. Now go and get some rest before your next sortie. Whoa. I was in all those trees. Half an hour? Oh my word. Oop. I'm a cameraman. Thanks to your efforts, the unidentified aircraft was taken down. You helped us make it clear that it belonged to Free Arusha. I got an S? I'm afraid it's for now, we'll be All right. Well, that's cool. All right, so, that, yes, I'm going to see if I can do a regular mission with this on, if that will make me better at flying. S S S S S S S A A fucking face of soldier S S S A B. A. So what it looks like, I have some common missions with problem. Face the soldier, bunker buster, last hope, and occasionally, 
occasional pipeline destruction. So I'm pretty sure that's not a, a number of enemies beaten kind of thing, that's just a time and not blowing up in the middle of it combo, like a no damage thing. So. <sighs> Before I hop on eights, let's go to normal. And let's see how I do in charge itself. Let's let's just do that one. Is everyone here? Settle down. I said settle down. Oh, that's we a beautiful map. Instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuja as members of the International Union Peace. Yeah. If you want to see actual like playthrough, it's already uploaded. One beautiful, beautiful plane. I got me one of those two Boop. up top. All right, let's just have some fun. Yeah. New squadron aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. It's so funny to me that there's. Canonically, somebody alongside Mihai in that plane where he was doing all the crazy dumb shit. Although then again, if my understanding is correct, it's probably a drone. He just does it all by himself as opposed to how it usually works where you have your pilot and Radar your munitions person. Get those birds in the sky. We're sitting ducks. This, this plane's expensive Bomber as fuck. Up. I think I might need to change. Oh, let's see what I do. No, that won't work. Looks like the harbor's taken a lot of damage. Can't have any more casualties. Time to stop the bullshit. Mage two, warm up with Mage one. All aircraft, let's do this. Golem squadron, it's go time. Roger that. No, four understood. This is the AWAC Skykeeper. Uh. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the worst and stay sharp. We'll go. Trigger, I'm your wingman. Fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. Enemy bomber confirmed down. Good job, Mage 2. Not bad, Mage 2. Trigger, switch your radar. See if you can locate the enemy. Okay. Confirmed down. Looking good, Mage 2. Mage 2, targets in range, pair of bombers. Enemy 
take that from me. Not my dad. Make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. We'll go. Call him too. Let's maintain elements. Copy that, Commander. I've got your six covered, sir. Radio. Gollum, Mage, two new enemy groups. You think I got this plane by not knowing what I was doing? You, I want to get something else. I'm taking cover in the clouds. I maneuver behind the enemy. Don't let them destroy the armor. Where the hell are you? The armor is under heavy fire. Getting out of rock. Sinking. Why'd she turn? I'm not gonna hide you turn. Oh, there it is. I don't know how I did that. Go ahead and tell you. This does help with that, though. Oh my god.
Just add any though. Hmm. Oh well. As fun as this is, I am going to stop though, because as you expect, this messes with my face, with my eyes, and with my brain. So, oh, uh, I'm gonna play like, yeah, like an hour of this at a time before I just like not get dizzy. It's hard to describe it. Um, disoriented is probably the only real accurate way I can say it. It's just like. If you've ever played like Guitar Hero, um, like when you're first really getting into that, something that happens is that you'll be playing, you'll be playing, and you'll just, your eyes are focusing on the, the thing going down, um, on the chords and the notes. And then when you're done, the song ends, your eyes are so used to tracking down that when the song ends, you can't focus on the middle of the screen because your eyes are still trying to move down. And so that's what's happening, except for it's, I'm trying to focus on something that's here, but also on a distant thing, but everything's here. And so there's a focus issue that your eyes have when the actual point of focus, because getting into the depth of it, stuff like ocular distances and uh, ocular angles, like, you know, that's how you simulate size and things, is that if it takes up more angle, if the angle in your pupil is bigger then it appears larger but on a screen that's here if you want to focus on something up here your eyes have to play a trick where one stops earlier than the other in order to like because you know you're trying to focus in and you can't and so it's dizzying when you when you get done with that you're trying to you're actually looking at things in the real world and your eyes are very used to doing that because you do that most of the time. So instead of there being a screen like half an inch from your face, there's a screen about seven feet away from me. And so yeah, I kind of have to stop because my eyes are trying to, it's not even just like simulating motion so your body expects some kind of movement, but your eyes and ears simulate that. And so you're, there's that disconnect between like, all the other senses and the two that you really rely on and you know there's that that usually causes motion sickness and this is something else where like my eyes just hurt <laughs> because they're trying to move in a way to focus on something that you can't really focus on because the vr is built to make you focus on something artificially distant so yeah cool lessons aside uh i'm gonna stop for now and drink lots of water and I'll probably be on like either later or tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's a big maybe because I get to drive up to my dad's birthday party up in Indy. Um, I don't think I'll be up there all day. It starts at one, so I'll probably be home around six if traffic allows. Let's see how cool my family is. I haven't spoken to them since the before times so hopefully they're cool um other thing to mention uh we are a charity stream every cent that comes from this from ad revenue from subs and uh follows and from uh just um donations all goes to charity uh if you want to check out the charities at the bottom of the stream or on our main page on youtube we donate to the South, Southern Poverty Law Center and the Black Trans Travel Fund. Yeah, yeah. and um, then when their campaign is open, we also donate to Positive Wind that's closed right now. Yeah, the Community AIDS Action Group of South Central Indiana is pretty good. Uh, they only take donations early spring. So, uh, yeah, if, uh, if you enjoy what you see, you can throw some money towards us if we make what I believe to be another... I think we're at $120, so we're 24% of the way towards Stop, Drop, and Sekiro, which means that 
right now I'm playing Monster Hunter Stories 2. Uh, I'm occasionally hopping into like Super, like Mario, was it Mario 3D All Stars? Yeah. And there's like Near Gestalt, which you need to finish up. Um, all that business. And I'm playing 14. Yep, there's 14. Uh, you don't have to stop playing 14. I know, I, I'm so lucky. Yeah, but I have to start playing Sekiro. I have to stop what I'm doing and play Sekiro. And so I've never done that. This isn't a Dark Souls, Bloodborne thing where I can just kind of like, haha, I know which way to go and I know what builds work for me. I'm going to go in relatively blind, um, having never played it before, and I have to beat it. It's the only game I can play in the meantime. Um, and we're probably going to have an incentive regarding how many deaths I have. We'll see. Well, we have agreed to do an incentive depending on how many deaths he has, but we're not agreeing to do $1 per death like we did for the Dark Souls run. Yeah, um, this is probably going to be, we'll see how many times I die and we'll find an equivalent amount Yeah, that works. So we'll be transparent about what we decide once we figure out how much of a grip for it has. <laughs> I know that's the kind of game where the more you die, the more your NPCs suffer. So I have to be good. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be good. Yeah, as blind as it is, I do know what Dragon Rot is, and I do know better. So, yeah. I'll hop it on that. Uh, get the relish in me. One, experiencing something new for the first time. And two trying to be good at it uh, uh, it's the kind of gameplay i enjoy but sweet lord um i will be going in fairly blind the only thing i know about sekiro is that it's hard uh and there's a giant snake at some point yeah and that shadows die twice that's i don't know what that means though so <laughs> that's just the subtitle i know that's um, probably nothing though but yeah so in the meantime i'm gonna find more vr games to play Expect some super hot. Expect some. Uh, what was the other one? Something bound, but I'm not sure. I keep bound. talking to no one and explodes will be fun. We can do together. <laughs> that sounds like one I'd like to have uh, the next time we have company over. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Because you each have to have a different portion of the manual. Can you imagine me and, and Paul trying to get you, oh. two engineers trying to get a guy with a sociology major to like listen to the two engineers? The sociology masters. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> It's a psychology major. <laughs> Either way, two engineers trying to tell a sociologist, please, for the love of God, put the computer back together. <laughs> Look, just, it's, like, I, I've i seen enough to know, like, all right, here's the case. It's got a number pad, it's got a countdown timer, it's got, you know, a rundown timer, and it's got, like, another thing. Okay. Help me. Starting digit on the number pad is this. And you're like, Fuck! It's got like a computer, like a computer manual with it, right? Yeah, it comes with a whole manual, and so like, it was like, okay, for the shapes, I have diamond square, star, triangle. So you have to tell me what the next step is. Yeah, we also have derailed. We need to play at some point. Oh yeah, that's definitely a company game. So yeah, we have we have options. Yeah, there's gonna be lots of fun on the horizon. I do anticipate playing another platinum game sometime soon because I would like to kind of get through that whole repertoire so I can get them out of my physical catalog. Um, as much as I enjoy them, I know that once I play through them and show everyone and give everyone the capacity to appreciate them and enjoy them, even if they can't really play them, I'm just going to get rid of them. So, by the way, I am currently selling Metal Gear Rising. That's signed by Quentin Flynn. There's an eBay listing for it. You literally just can type in that and it will pop up. Um, if you can prove that you bought it because it was repped on this channel, we'll donate those proceeds to charity. Yep. Otherwise, if some random person buys them, I'm keeping that money. Yeah, but if you heard this promo either through YouTube or um, you can yeah you can send me a uh, a note saying hey I bought it because I saw your Twitch or your YouTube, and uh, we'll donate the proceeds. Then I'll donate the proceeds. And you, if you have a a preference between the Black Trident's Travel Fund or the Southern Poverty Law Center or... If you have a different charity you would like to uh, donate to? Yep. Um, if, if we... If, if it passes the, the test of it's a charity that actually donates the money that's donated to it, unlike, you know, the... What's that? Um, the Autism Speaks Autism or speaks, the... Uh, uh, what's that breast cancer one? Susan that, B. Yeah. Coleman, yeah. The Combs. Yeah. Yeah. If it's any one of those kind of ones, we'll... We'll have a discourse. Yeah. But, yeah, if you have something you prefer, cool. Otherwise, we'll divvy it up as is. So, yeah. 
one, I'd like to get that in my house. If you want a signed copy, but not by me, signed by Quentin Flynn. Unfortunately, we got it signed before we knew he was a dick waffle. Before he groomed people. He was doing it at the time, we just didn't know. Yep, we didn't know. But Anyway. If you're a collector, there you go. Either way, have a good have one. Good night. I'm going to recoup, drink more water, and just try to chill out. See ya.